back to what's inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan and today we have some air raid sirens. This one right here in this box is one that you can buy off the internet. 115 decibel sound output metal housing. It's a crank air raid siren. This one is hard to buy. This is from World War II. It really is. Like this has Japanese writing on it. So today we are going to see what's inside of an air raid siren. It's actually quite complex. There's no speakers inside of this. There's no electronics inside of this, but it gets really, really loud. Go, go, louder, louder, louder. What? Too good for the doorbell? <laughs> no way. And we got our own siren yeah. record. We decided to call one of our favorite YouTubers and one of our friends and that we needed his former NASA scientist brain to help us with it. This is our air raid siren from World War II. I know that you know that you think that we're very, very smart. Like oh. our videos. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're so smart. Yeah! Oh. There we go. The science that we do in oh, our videos. What's so inside much. your head? A big brain. That's what I know. <laughs> exactly, good one. So Mark is our friend. He's a former NASA scientist, an engineer, one of the smartest on YouTube. Seriously, you don't have to agree to that. That's all right. Him and Destin from Smarter Every Day are two channels that we watch all the time and we learn things and we're entertained. So we're gonna take this and a couple of the other air raid sirens that we have, test them out, show you how they work. And then of course we gotta take one apart and see what's inside of it. And can you explain to us out there like what, how it works, you think? This? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I could give it a go. Deal. All right, air raid siren time. Let's do it. We have the Japanese hand cranked one. You heard Lincoln do it earlier. Here we go. That's pretty loud, but here is one. Maybe hard to tell on camera, but it's really this one's loud. louder. Okay, let's see. So why in the world would anybody need one of these things? This is for getting people's attention on campus, schools, or okay. while cheering your favorite team in sport events. Really? <laughs> Can you really? imagine? <laughs> I don't think that would work. Or any place that you want to produce an effective warning sound and electricity is not available. Hmm. Okay. If you're lost or something, yeah, this might be cool. Do you really take that in your backpack? Yeah. <laughs> no, you would take it in your fancy little camo bag that comes oh, with wow. it. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this is wow. Nice. Look at that. Before we get to the science of this thing, I want to go test this thing out and see how far away we can actually hear it. Oh, that's loud! Okay, all right, I hear it just fine. Okay, Mark, how does this work without a speaker, without electricity? So, I think the most important thing to understand is, is how hearing works, right? You gotta start there. When you speak, your vocal cords are vibrating and they push, they crash into the air molecules right inside your, like in your throat. Those crash into other air molecules and it keeps happening, a bunch of crashes, until it gets to Lincoln's eardrum. Nav! You could blow on your skin, you could feel that. Your eardrums are like millions of times more sensitive to that. So they actually feel the crashes of those air molecules. If the air molecules are crashing fast, very frequently, we hear that as a high frequency, right? A high pitch. If the air molecules are crashing slower, we hear that as a low frequency, a low pitch. That's important for what we're about to look at right here. All this really is, is a fan. As I turn this, it pulls air in here, and then it spits it out around the edge. You're shooting out bursts of air at a certain frequency, and the faster you spin it, the higher in pitch it goes, that is why when you crank these things up, you hear like That's basically how hearing works. That's very scientific. Mark is smart. Is that a turkey? No, it's, what is that? Pheasant maybe? Oh yeah, look at that. What is that bird? Bird! Bird! <laughs> is that a pheasant? Those are huge. Oh. Get them! I'm out on the road. Let's see if it still works. <laughs> 
reveal that there's a highway patrolman like literally right next door. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs tools? This is so much better than tools. Isn't that fun, Mark? That was amazing. Fun? That was pretty fun. Oh, oh, go, go. You got this. Go. Look at it. It's trying. It got denser, I think. Just gotta smack it. Here we go. <laughs> this sounds really similar to what you hear on like police cars or fire trucks. Yeah. The, the trick is, is if you hear it raising in pitch, right, the then it's this type of rotary horn. If it's just like a brrrr, like a really loud train horn, then you've got like a diaphragm thing with like an air tank. So this one's very similar to the hand cranked one. What would it be with our channel if we didn't actually destroy it even more? I'm gonna have Lincoln flip the super sketchy switch. I'm gonna smash this thing right here. Will it stop on the first one? Mark, what do you think? No, I don't think it'll stop on the first okay, one. Okay, no, Lincoln. No, it's not. Okay. I trust the scientist. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Unplug it. Don't want to get hurt. Are you filming? Ow, that thing's hard. Nothing exploded. This is very hot. Mark built a giant air horn, the world's largest air horn on his channel. I can't show you what it sounded like, but this is what it looked like. It was pretty amazing. Like we went out to the middle of the desert and tested this thing out. Thanks for having me on, guys. It was fun to see how you guys do your thing. You can learn sometimes through destruction. Absolutely. We're gonna hold on to this Japanese World War II air raid siren. I don't feel like we should take it apart or destroy it. It feels like it's so historical. Maybe let us know in the comments, like, what should we do with this thing? Next time you hear a fire truck or an air raid siren, <laughs> it's either Lincoln or it's an actual air raid siren, and you can say, I know how that thing works. Oh look, explosion hazard. I like how it's what? Do not let yeah, let's let's read what the, the wording is. What does it say? Explosion hazard, do not operate motor uh, where explosive vapors or material are present. Never use a sledgehammer on the outer case. No! No! <laughs> well, check it out. Friggin' tumbleweed. <laughs> Wow. We really are in the middle of nowhere. This Look at this. so amazing. <laughs> like, I've never tumbleweed. seen that. A tumbleweed literally just like... Rolled up on it. Yeah. See ya, buddy. Mark is smart.